Oh, don't do the whole thing. Just redo my stuff. Just to redo that loop. <laughs> This function will go through all the items in your inventory. Oh wait, for const auto item and items? Oh wait, okay. That's what I need to do. <laughs> if you want to draw quantity and value as well, uncomment the following. Oh, look at that. Okay, same line. Oh, I am gooey. That, you're funny. You're funny. Didn't I send it some... Oh, NVG. See, I've got the layout here. Okay, so... that I already did. okay that's fine um base X change these according to your GUI layout change these okay distance between items okay assuming we have a grid of items items per row iterate over the inventory uh, calculate the position of the item okay this is good actually this is better than what I was okay what I was thinking set font size and color which we already do right up here. Font, size, color, alignment, all that fun stuff. Render the text. Item name, C string, okay. Sprintf? Are we going to use Sprintf or what are we going to use? Oh, STD string. Okay. That's really handy. It's a lot better than Sprintf and all that. Same as before. Okay. <laughs> render the item name, render the item's quantity. So I can just include just these last. Okay. So same as before, let's look at this. And this is really the only thing we need here. So base X, base Y. And I just upgraded this or saved it. So let's write that down. Is it the 21st already? Okay, cool. All right, let's go main space jams two one four. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay, and then what we're doing is we are uh, so we're gonna do the space flowers <laughs> or swirls, whatever you want to call them. Flowers, swirls, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then we want to put in a ship inventory slot. We're going to start to do that. So let's see if we do that. So the main thing that we want to do is... Uh, in here... So this is the render nano get window size render text. Okay, so loop through inventory GUI. So, because actually, what would our base? Let's look at the code they gave. Me. She gave. Me. He, she gave me. Whatever. Chat GPT gave me. Number of items per row. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> We're not going to use all that code. But. So base X, base Y, delta X, delta Y. Okay, so the base X and the base Y. So isn't that going to be 55 for X? And the base Y, is that going to be 907? What are we doing at 907? Minus I times 92. So what's 9 times 92? 810. 828, so 907 minus 828, that's too many calculations to trust my brain here. So 907, so minus 828, Nine, oh, computer, clear, how do we clear? There, 907 minus 828. 79, that's where we're going to start. So that's the base. Okay, that's a pretty good idea to actually... <laughs> I thought that one had some really good cello. That's why I chose it. But let's go to... Did I break it? Is it already broken just coming out of that? Steam. Steam, steam, steam. Is this already broken now? It's already broken. Okay. <sighs> Tell you. Okay, Delta <laughs> Delta X is ninety one, right? Delta Y is ninety two. Vertical distance between items, that's awesome. Assuming we have a grid of items, items per row. Okay, five. So the previous one, the items per row were 20, so I think it's safe to say we can do 15 or 12 or something, just cut it back. Let's do 12. Don't ask me why. Loop through inventory GUI. But why, Jeff, why? All right, so let's do this because this is probably better than what I was gonna do. Boop, so size items, M size items, item, okay. Base X, items for row, delta X, delta Y, set font, size, and color. We don't need to do that. That's already set up above. Render the text. Cool. And then it's got a couple of extra lines that it added down here for the... I <laughs> like how I don't actually have to do this. Why was I putting this off tonight? <laughs> it was just like, I've been playing Minecraft all night. I, bought, I, got a new, I got a new survival Minecraft. String quantity. Oh, I see. So right here, okay. So when we display this, the base... This one starts five 
in the X direction over, and then this one starts. Okay, hold on. Delta X divide by. What is this computer? What are you doing? <laughs> So we should we just make float x2 equals base underscore x plus 5? Because I think that's all it is, right? Is plus 5? Okay. And then go through all this. Plus i mod items per row times delta x, all that. Okay. All right. Why not? Just Just to get this to work. Just to make sure this works. So base y is going to be the difficult one because we were subtracting before and so 975 is where we're subtracting from. Oh, that's not that difficult, I guess. Okay, so 68. So we're going to add 68. So whatever was there, we're going to add 68. I guess that makes sense because we're going lower. And then just do that. Space to line it up. Put the space there because I'm... okay. What's the three dots? Local variable size t, iterate over the inventory. Integer division result is truncated for casting to float. Is that an error? Size t, oh, oh, what's the error? Size t, i, iterate over the inventory. Integer division result is truncated before cast to floating point. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is I divided by items per row. We'll see how it works. I don't don't particular. So then right here we're just gonna go X2 because we don't want to do whatever this calculation is. Quantity C string adjust X was okay. <laughs> I just did that. Okay, alright. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That was actually funny. Okay, quantity string, quantity std, two string item dot quantity. Oh, I guess because we're already in the item. Okay, so it's looping through. Okay, all right. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what Chat GPT is doing. Just kidding. Okay, so render nano. Let's give that a try. I have no idea what that'll do. Just kidding. I think it'll. I think it'll do uh, exactly what I. Uh, oh, error. Okay, what's wrong? Tell me what's wrong. Scanning for source dependencies. Name is not a member of item. What? It's not. Looks like it is. Item has no member. Oh, that's because. Are you doing item? Size t m items. Const item equals m items sub i. Oh, because you have to call get name at that point? What? So those are. Oh, because that's a private. Uh, that's a private, um, so won't that return a string though? Get name returns a string, and then do we have to put that in parentheses then in order to use the dot? Computer, what do we have to do? What do I have to do? All right, let's try to compile it again. Oh, it's kept. No, it's not capital. Uh, let's try it again. Warning, error, the float. Cannot convert argument four from std string to const char pointer. Oh, well then just const char. Can we just const char pointer? 
Can we just cast it? Are you doing it? Is it working? No? Hmm. Okay. Uh, oops. tried that. It gave me a squiggly. <laughs> it gave me a squiggly, I swear. It gave me a squig... Computer. Gave me a squiggly, I swear. See? There's a squiggly. Oh, it's got a squiggly down here for quantity. Oh, it got through that, but now it's down to quantity. See? Okay. So, let me guess, get quantity, I don't even know my own classes, computer, oh, so what do we got, those two, it doesn't show, oh, crystal quantity, wait, so do I, if I shoot a flower, where's a flower? Ah, it works. So the crystal? Flower? <laughs> okay, except for those are drawn down there, and it's up there, okay. <laughs> and wait, are those not listed? Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, right, hold on, sorry. We still got squiggly, even though it worked. Render Nano. So this is what. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Background transparent squares for for. Oh, right here. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> so actually, the main problem is right here. Negative 0 0.77. Why in the world do I start there? It's okay. It's okay. Um, 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 do we know the other squares for inventory slots? So let's load the old one. Six. Let's load six. Let's look at. Net data. Here we go. Okay. So now we're talking about I, and we're talking about. So position of negative 0.77i plus 0.17 times 9. Hey, I actually left the calculator open. That's good. Okay, negative 0 0.77 plus 9 times 0 0.17. Whatever I typed. Now, is that the answer? 1.53 equals ah positive 0.76 okay and these are being hardwired in still I noticed that it's okay it's okay <coughs> so those okay and that's all right that's fine though. Let's just go inventory. See, and they're just right a bit. So if I shoot a flower, we get a flower quantity. How come it says quantity one? I don't want it to say quantity one. Quantity one. I don't want it to say quantity. How did you miss that, Jeff? Well, I missed it. All right. Quantity plus string. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Crystal. 
crystal, flowers, flowers. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do, uh, which is not necessarily going to happen with the first demo release, that I would like it to do that, and I think we can easily do that. So. Okay, so we're getting crystals, we're getting flowers. Flower, except for the crystal shows the, oh. <laughs> So what we want here, excuse me, there we go, ah, and that one's zero, there we go. But basically what I need to do for that is this, I need to sync those up. So we're getting our flowers, we're getting our crystals, where's the flower? Flower. Oh wait, now what? <laughs> flower one, crystal one, did it not just have those in reverse? Okay, let's shoot a flower. It does reverse them, it's sorting them, but it's not so, okay. So it's just not syncing up the, uh, all right, so I'm not getting a full point for that one. <laughs> Ship inventory slot, we haven't got to that yet either, so we're gonna take that out. Okay, so, um, so now we only draw, only draws inventory. Wait, what does it do? <laughs> so it draws, okay. And those shouldn't render, we haven't synced, sunk, we haven't sunk, whatever. How come there's, excuse me, how come there's a artifact there on the side? going on? Space inventory 3.fs open space inventory 3.fs What's this? Oh, this is the offset where it starts there. Oops. Computer, what? So F text chords, so we're gonna go uh, F text chord is a vector two, so let's go vector two, new F text chord. And what we wanna do is we wanna take the previous F text chord, wanna add one pixel in the X direction. Although this is one pixel on what what is the size of that image? Do we need to do that? So the size of this image is 350 pixels in the X direction. And that's where the Oh it is, it's getting it from right here, isn't it? Maybe? I don't know, that looks weird. I don't think that looks like what it is. So 350, we need to find out what's, whoops, oh, computer not there. We could use PowerShell, but we don't. So if it's 350 pixels, and we want one, one divided by 350. So one pixel is 0 0.00285. 
Oops, or we can just follow Juice Juice's advice. Just go one divided by three fifty. Comma F Tex core dot Y. So it will start sampling one pixel ahead of where it's telling it to do that. And then we need to shrink this instead of 0.2 because we're not going to sample the whole because it's how many pixels was it? Here, show me. 350, so we're going to sample divide by 5, 70 pixels. But really we're going to sample 69 pixels. And did I close the calculator again? I closed the calculator again. So we're going to sample 69 divided by 350. So instead of 0.2, we want 0 0.197. 69 divided by 350 is what we want. So right here, times 69 divided by 350. Let's just leave that in there for computer to figure that out. And why we're going to leave the same. Okay, so that would work, I believe. Let's just go up to four. Open space. Inventory zero four or zero three dot yes. File save as. get an, an artifact. Maybe it's more than one pixel? I still get an artifact. these and that's the fragment shader I'm working on. Okay, well I don't like that artifact. I really don't. Look at it. <laughs> Did it just come about? Did we have that before? I don't recall seeing artifacts all over the screen. Hold on. See if I can even go back. 214, 213. Oh, it does have the artifact. And it has the artifact on these ones too. It is from that final graphic, isn't it? It is. It's from this graphic here. Wow. Really? <laughs> really? So it doesn't show up. It's only the one before and after, right? It's only the one before and after. So this one has the artifact because of this one. And this one has the artifact because of this one. Is it because... Did I load... Hold on. It's the same there. We don't really need to worry about it. So if it's the same in each one, right? So then inventory, let's go out of there. Uh, 
does it have to? Oh. Oh, I don't want those to be repeat. I had ChatGPT redo my texture stuff. Okay. Texture coordinates that fall outside the range of the clamp and exact boundary. So let's do the uh, clamp to edge. Let's do clamp to edge. See how that works. This is inventory eight. Okay, good. Wait, what was there before? Save, compile. Oh, then I can take all that stuff out of the shader. That was it. Okay, I knew that had to be something. Son of a bean, that made me redo my shader stuff here. Chat GPT. Yes, I'm blaming the AI. Oh, totally. Totally. Everything was... Everything was tickety-boo. Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> Wait, why did you just... Why did we... What just... Why did we... All right, does that work? All right. I, 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 I. Oh, what? I, now, what? Uh-oh, we're not getting anything. What? Oh, error, unexpected error. What? 13, line 13. What? Where's the line number here? Show me. I texture, oh, we got too many, oh. Pardon me, pardon me. What? What happened there? <laughs> what ha what happened? <laughs> what happened? F text chord plus oh 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 oh. Oh, so we do want the extra parentheses with that. Oh, because I added the thing, I forgot the thing, I took out the thing, and everything, and everything, okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, oh, wait, go back. Now we want to see the fun. Now let's see. Oh, here. So let's shoot a crystal, shows the crystal, shoot a flower, shows the flower. Okay, and everything's fine until I shoot another crystal. And another crystal. And then they swap, but the pictures don't swap. Okay. It's 4:30. I suppose I could I could do the um, graphic syncing. I don't want to. I don't want to. Besides, I've already got enough to earn. Only draws inventory that uh, inventory slots that have inventory. All right. Actually, uh, no. One small step closer. <laughs> 0 0.1 points <laughs> to the inventory that I want. The inventory system that I want for the game. Okay, so there we go. So gather flower, 
this is what we're working on. Actually, we're going to do both of these at the same time, I guess. Because once we get the gather flower, ship upgrade, better mining, then we'll gather the crystal, and yeah. So we really didn't make that much progress, but we made, I guess, some progress and figured out some stuff. And uh, I didn't realize ChatGPT had changed this uh, parameter. Although, it's, and it's handy to know the other one. What was the other one? Clamp to edge, clamp to border. So you set a border color, and then it'll clamp. Excuse me, if it goes beyond that. Wasn't wasn't going beyond zero to one for the texture coordinate, so I don't know why it was reading into the very last texture when it was reading the first texture from zero to zero point two, and then when it was reading the um, when it's reading the fourth texture, why it's reading from that would be zero to four zero point six zero point eight why it would read just beyond 0 0.8 and get that last one. Now this one I could understand if there's like one pixel difference in the size here, but this one to read the first one, yeah. So what if I can go back to the other one just for a second. And the update, I don't ever do this, but... Which one is it? Inventory 6? Because I had ChatGPT help me with the text in it from the beginning. Yeah, CGL repeat. So let's go... Where's the other one here? So now let's run the test, because I just missed it when I saw the whole screen filled with the graphics. I was just glad that it was doing the actual graphics from, there we go, and now there, there are no artifacts in any of them. Where's the other one? This one? Okay, no artifacts there. Perfect. Oh wait, there's artifacts here. But there are none down here? Wait. There are some, but it's very subtle. So on that fourth graphic, I bet you that when I place the graphic on there, that it is actually one pixel off. So let's look at the graphic here. Sorry for the bright screen there. So if I take the select and we go out here, what pixel are we at? 280? So what about when we're at this one? 210? 280. So what if we do this? Go to this line, 279. Oh, there's a PNG. Okay, that's fine. So copy, copy that, and then paste it. Where did it just paste it at? Computer. Didn't just paste it down there, did it? Undo, undo. <laughs> well, really what I want to do is just... What is that, three, two? So if I really wanted to... I don't know why this would be... That's fine. So for this particular one, we're in six. This is the old one. Let's see if that takes out the artifact for that one. If it does, we'll just use the new graphic. Failed to load texture. Oh, did, when we saved it, did it save it into my pictures?
Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Yep, that takes it out. <laughs> it actually puts the artifact on the very last one, but you can't tell because it's black. Because what I did was I copied the one pixel line from this graphic over to that one, but you can't tell. Nobody can tell. Actually, you can. There's a slight you can tell, but really you can't tell. So, all right, that's the new graphic. <laughs> that was weird, definitely. So let's go into the new one, two, one, four. Remove. And really, we just want to do that. I know. I'm just, okay. I'm just being weird here. Existing two, one. Four, where are we at? Where are we at? There. Okay, there we go. So then we want to go into eight, and then we want to load six. Okay, so I've never modified, I don't think I've modified a graphic and put that in the in the log yet. But that's cool. Okay, so uh, inventory 776.png modified uh, the one pixel vertical line between the fourth sprite icon and the fifth icon because there was an artifact when drawing the fourth icon. Anyways, fixed. Yay. Good job to me. Good show. Good show. I would even give you another point for that, really. Because that was a problem that you had before that you didn't notice. And you just fixed it. Plus, you did the other work from tonight. So you just did, let's go two points. All right. Okay. All before 5 o'clock. How long did we last? That was 46 minutes. Nice. Nice. Are we ignoring anybody in chat? Hey, sorry. Music is too loud, can't hear you. Oh. <laughs> oh, so here I am trying to adjust it on my thing. Sorry. I'm done, though. Welcome to the stream. Good morning, Fresh 401 gaming Good good morning, guys. How's it going? Sorry I don't have a second monitor, so I don't see chat. I know I should put it on the side, but that'll limit how much I have to program and then the space and stuff like that. So, Anyways, uh, I'm about to end stream, but thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good day. And all that jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah.